Hello friends, this video on light part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly have a look at the questions. Question number one, fill in the blanks. An image that cannot be obtained on a screen is called. Now which type of image can be obtained on a screen? The images which are formed on the same side of the object that is real images. So those which cannot be obtained on the screen is definitely going to be a virtual image. So this would be virtual image. Image formed by a convex dash is always virtual and smaller in size. Which type of mirror or lens always produces virtual small image? So this is produced either by the convex mirror or by the concave lens. So here it is convex so it has to be mirrored. An image formed by a dash mirror is always of the same size as that of the object. Now a plane mirror will only produce an image of same size always. A concave mirror can also produce but only when the image is, the, only when the object is present at the center of curvature. So only at a certain situation it will produce an image of the same size. An image which can be obtained on a screen is called a, so which can be obtained on a screen is a real image. An image formed by a concave dash cannot be obtained on a screen. Cannot be obtained means virtual image. And which type of mirror or which type of lens always produces virtual image? So a convex mirror produces or a concave lens. So here this would be concave lens. Question number two. Mark T if the statement is true and F if it is false. We can obtain an enlarged and erect image by a convex mirror. Now this is false because you know in convex mirror of course we can get erect image all the time but what we get is a diminished image and not an enlarged image. A concave lens always form a virtual image. Yeah that's true because a concave lens will always form virtual erect and diminished image. We can obtain a real enlarged and inverted image by a concave mirror. Yes, that is also true because in concave mirror, you see you get different types of images. You can form real images, you can also form a virtual image, you can also form enlarged, you can also form diminished image. You can even form image of the same size as that of the object. A real image cannot be obtained on a screen that is false because a real image can be obtained on the screen and a virtual image cannot be obtained on the screen. A concave mirror always form a real image that is again false because a concave mirror also forms virtual image when the object is placed very close to the mirror. When the object is placed between the focus and the pole that time a, a virtual image is also formed. So we cannot say that a concave mirror always form real image. Question number three, match the items given in column one with those in column two. So these are the items which are given in columns one and two. So let's see how do they match to each other. So let's look at each of the items in column one first, a plain mirror. So a plain mirror, in this case, the image will always be virtual, erect and of the same size as that of the object and it perfectly matches with 5 where it says the image is erect and of the same size as object. Convex mirror. So a convex mirror will always produce virtual, erect and diminished images. Right? So it matches with 6 where it says that the image will be erect and smaller but at the same time it also matches to 2 where it says it can form image of object spread over a large area. Since it can give diminished images so you know it can actually show that objects which are spread over a larger area in a small area. A convex lens. So a convex lens can be used as a magnifying glass because it can also produce enlarged images. Concave mirror. So a concave mirror again can produce a variety of images and uh, yes it is used by dentists to see the enlarged image of tooth. 
So wherever you need enlarged images, it has to be either concave mirror or convex lens. And finally, when you have a concave lens, so what is a concave lens used for? Again, in case of a concave lens, the image that is formed that is going to be diminished, virtual and erect. So this would again match with 6. Question number 4. State the characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror. Now, what kind of images are formed by plane mirror? It is virtual, it is formed on the other side of the mirror, erect, same size as that of the object. The image is formed behind the mirror. So you can see here, distance of the image behind the mirror is same as the distance of the object from the mirror. So if the object is at a distance O and the image is formed at a distance I, then O will always be equal to I. So these are some of the characteristics of image formed by a plane mirror. Question number five, find out the letters of English alphabet or any other language known to you in which the image formed in a plane mirror appears exactly like the letter itself. Like uh, we had taken that example of L when we were talking about light example. So if here you have a mirror, so this part of the light which is which of L is a distance of this. So this will be formed at this point. Again, this point will be formed here. This point will be formed here. So basically this L will not look alike. So L is not the appropriate example. So let's look at some of these kind of letters. You see A. A will look exactly the same, T, U, O, they will all look exactly the same because they have a symmetry. So they are right hand side and left hand side are like symmetrical and that is why their mirror images are exact identical. However, that is not true for other letters like S or D. So here you see they both are not identical. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.